Good morning. It's Saturday and it's going to be a nice, productive, high vibes day. Um, yeah, I'm just putting it out there that that's what today's going to be. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I have my coaching call in about... 47 minutes um, so that's at 10 a.m. on Saturdays and um, yeah I have a life coach and our designated time to speak to each other is on Saturdays at 10 um, I don't have much to do today it's raining outside too like <laughs> look at the weather so gloomy so gloomy So, yeah, um, I do actually have plans to go with my mom to the outlet, you know, I was like, I was like, oh, you know, we can go on like a little, I had invited her yesterday, I was like, what you doing today, girl? She was like, nothing, and I was like, mm, you want to go to the outlets? Especially since we're supposed to be traveling next weekend, I have what I deem nothing really planned, like, outfits-wise for this trip. Granted, it's not like we're going to be like club party bus like no it's not gonna be like that but you know you need a little extra just in case outfit you need that one just in case outfit and then on top of that even when i'm being casual i still need to look cute when you're still being casual you still need to look cute because you never know who you're gonna run into and on top of that when you always look cute the opportunities just you know come a little bit faster and they come your way so you know i know like i don't have my wig all the way down by the way but i know how it's like oh you know sometimes you just kind of want to be like Ugh, i don't give a fuck but give a little bit of a fuck when it comes to your looks just 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 a little bit start a little at a time you'll see how like it'll just kind of continue to go and go and go and you'll want to continue to like put more of an effort into your looks every day on a day-to-day -day basis before you leave the house and it'll just come natural it's not gonna be like something where it's like Ugh, now I gotta like get up and change or do this or do that and I'm gonna tell you about back in February I think like I think it was February yeah it was beginning of February or into January I told myself I was like I need to stop rolling out of bed putting my clothes on and going to work why am I doing that so what I started doing was like Picking out my clothes the night before. Oh, and that's another thing. I wasn't picking out my clothes. So I was kind of just like getting up every morning, free balling it, like trying to figure out what I was going to wear. And then being displeased or like not finding what I want to wear. And now I'm running late and this time the third. So if I already have my outfits together, I already know what I'm going to wear. I already know how it's going to look when I, you know, get up in the morning. That helped tremendously with like saving time. And then, um, I'm just gonna put this camera down right here. But yeah, as I was saying, that helped tremendously with like saving time. Um, and, saying that just like saves me so much time in the morning like tremendously and I started doing my makeup before I go to work so every day I leave the house even if I don't do a full face I'll still put on mascara or do my eyebrows like something something and honestly at first I was like uh now I have to get up early and do this um because what I do is I get up at 5.30 on the days I go to work. Not every day. Just the days I go to work. Which is like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I wake up at 5.30 and I just like give myself that time to really, you know, get it together. 
hair, outfit, makeup, and eating breakfast. Like recently I just transitioned to like eating breakfast. I mean I was already doing that but I was taking it to go and now I'm eating it in the house. So I'm giving myself that time to like really get myself together in the mornings before I depart. It makes the world of a difference, I kid you not. Um, and to me it's like wow I really was able to get all this done by like 7 30 so yeah definitely definitely try it um I think I'm actually gonna make breakfast now because I'm hungry and when I'm done with this call I want to just like leave so I told my mom we can meet around like noon or one but our call is only an hour. Well, actually, yeah, that sounds about right. It'll be about noon. Because by the time we're done, it'll be 11. I'm going to get myself together. I'm going to drive out there. That'll be like 30, 40 minutes. So, yeah, it'll be about 12. Um, I just don't want to leave any later than like 12. And got to prep my rain gear because it's gross outside. Hopefully it's not raining too hard. I am going to the outlet, so it's like... Yeah, for the most part it's covered but there are aspects of it where it's not <laughs> so uh your girl will definitely have on a hat and uh Breakfast time. Just got a little pancakes and a fried egg. Um, and OJ. <laughs> so I put a glutamine powder in my drinks, like the whatever first drink I have for the morning. So typically my green juice or it's water or orange juice whatever it is but i'll just put like like three and a half scoops or like two and a half scoops in my first drink each morning but yeah i'm gonna like just gobble this up and then get ready for my coaching call hi guys okay so i'm back i just had my coaching call with my coach she is so good like she's so good i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys her i'm gonna give you guys her youtube name because she does also make videos on youtube that's actually how i found her um hold on 
So her YouTube name is Urania My Femme Daily. Um, this is like her. You see her. Definitely check her out. She posts a lot of amazing, amazing content. Um, videos on like femininity. Uh, just I'm sorry if you hear my computer. My computer is my computer is needs the Holy Lord Spirit with her right now. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, um, my coach, she's so good. Um, we just had a really amazing session. Like, our last few sessions have been so amazing, I'm not going to lie. It's like I have a new aha moment each and every time, and then I will continuously continue to have aha moments throughout the weeks off the backs of our conversations, which is what you want, you know, especially when you're paying for, like, a life coach. Um, even with a therapist you know if if you're having those breakthrough moments outside of the um outside of the sessions then they're doing their job <laughs> um yeah so as i mentioned check out her youtube she has a lot of great content a lot of videos on like femininity leveling up yourself going through a spiritual and feminine journey um tips and tricks just resources books uh, pot whatever like you know definitely check her out if you guys want me to like dive more on that topic of like me going through my kind of like self-development and my spiritual journey and my feminine journey I can definitely you know talk more about that um I I read a lot I listen to various podcasts um I've watched a lot of various youtubers that and tiktok you know um on this information and I would say the biggest key like the the best way to start actually is to curate your social media feeds so you know we're on our phones every day um we're always blindly scrolling through social media if you can curate your feed to show you what it is that you're looking to achieve uh you know whatever topics you're looking to learn more about whatever if you're trying to turn into um if, if you're trying to like i don't know become like a content creator you know make sure that you're liking and engaging and watching videos that are surrounding content creation um so that you know how to do certain things so you can learn more about algorithms so you can learn more about posting schedules thumbnails seo ai whatever the case may be you know so make sure you're like you're reading your feed that's the first step because once you are just consciously consuming that um information you'll start to like rewire and reprogram little things which will then place you in a position where you're going to want to now go out and like develop your research develop your skill develop whatever and now you're putting yourself in a place where you're like buying books or like going this to conferences up ah, whatever you guys get what i'm trying to say um so yeah so that's over um I bought a mic guys I bought a mic and I'm super excited for it to come because the quality of my sound will just go through the roof um, because I want to start posting like more talk videos um, like talk points so that'll be good and um, yeah so like I said plan for the today the plans for today is to let me call my mom actually is to um just go shopping with my mom and then i will probably go to like trader joe's or whole foods afterwards because i um so i'll probably just go there and then come back home and you know just continue doing what i gotta do okay but let me call my mom real quick why is my computer it sounds like it's gonna like blow a gasket guys i only put down this part of my wig like right here that's it because it's raining up, so i ain't got time okay so i'm back i just put on a hat maybe i should put it down i don't know actually yeah i think i'm gonna wear the hat like this um so i'm getting ready to go to no you can't even see my eyes okay <laughs> so i'm getting ready to leave my house um 
gonna head out to the outlets. I'm gonna meet my mom, and we're just gonna do a little shopping. Um, try to find some things and sorts. Let me grab my shot. Let me just put this down real quick. It is raining. That's why I put on the hat. Um, I was gonna like. I was gonna like um put on my Nike hat but I was like eh, I'd rather be a little cute today so I just put this on you know I'm about to spray myself and smell delicious so I think I'm gonna it's a Burberry hair kind of day so yeah This shit gives me a headache, but I be smelling good, okay? I'm, it, it really does smell good, but it's so strong. I'm very, like, sensitive to smells. So I will be, like, feeling like, oh, my God, in a second. Here. I'm going to, ooh, got my gloss. I love the Lip Extreme, guys. It's so good. Let me grab an extra battery for my camera. Just grab the whole thing. My glasses, these little car trees so I can put it in my damn car. Um, AirPods, watch. glasses yes ma'am um I'm gonna grab my keys and actually before I go I'm gonna take everything out the truck what the hell was that y'all heard that right Oh, hell no. Well, if the dog's not barking, I shouldn't be concerned, I guess. I'll be right back. Hi, guys. So, I'm in the car. I am heading to... My windshield wipers are kind of, like, loud right now. But, like, I'm heading to, um... The outlet. Um, to meet my mom. Going on a little shopping date. Yeah, so I'm a uh, check my camera needs well. It's so nasty out here, guys. Like when I tell you the rain is coming down, it is coming down. Okay, you guys, we made it. Let's head to the let's head into the stores. I think I'm gonna go to Abercrombie first, and yeah, keep y'all posted. Jackets, so cute. 
I'm getting these. They are so freaking cute. I'm gonna show you what they look like. But look at these. They are so stinking cute. Oh my god. My hands are kind of full right now. I will show you what they look like. But I'm like, I'm gonna show you guys what these look like. These shoes are so stinking cute. Like, look at this. This is so cute. Like they just look so. Oh my god, high tea, a polo match, brunch, work, like, it's so cute. And I'm getting these because they're just, they're so adorable. Like, I can wear these anywhere all summer. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Oh my god, my hair looks crazy. It's because it's been raining hard, but literally stopped by this like caribbean food truck and got some food and now i'm about to taste this real quick it's called parlo kitchen yeah let me show you guys what the food looks like so this is it i got curry chicken peas and rice cabbage and yeah we're about to try this we're gonna see if it's good okay let me like put my camera on the thing so I, like, eat it from, like, we're gonna do a live taste test Let's see how this goes. Right there. Okay. No, this is good. And the plantains are a good size. Like, look at this. Caribbean restaurants be trying to play you with them little circles, like... Oh, oh my God, this is not my plate. Ooh, let me like cover that up. Let me, um, yeah, that was accident. That's not my plate. Oh my God. Oh my God. I definitely had got rice and peas. Okay, let me like. Okay, yeah, this is. Oh, that's oxtail. God damn. Oh, I feel bad. Because that is not my food. Alright, I know for fact it's one of these. Let me just give her. I ate out of my mom's plate by accident. Let me like give her a plant in. Um, they only put one in here, the fuck. Whereas the other ones have two. The fuck. Let me put her plant in back. Alright. We're gonna do this again. <laughs> um, let me try the peas and rice. It's good. It's really good. I'm gonna come back. Guys, that food, chef's kiss. Okay, that's that was good. That was good. It's called Par Parlo's Kitchen, I think it was called. Hold on. Let me check. I took a photo of the truck because I was like, oh, I need to know about it. Yeah, it's called Parlo Kitchen. Um, they have a Facebook and Instagram. I was on their Facebook and their Instagram. It seems like they come out to the outlet here in Deer Park um, every weekend. He said he comes every weekend. But they also post on their Facebook page and their Instagram page where they're going to be at. Baby, <laughs> I will be back. And it's on Grubhub and Seamless. So if you're in like Suffolk County area, oh my god, my hair looks crazy. But it's raining outside, so whatever. If you're in like Suffolk County, New York, um, definitely check them out. If you're looking for some good ass Caribbean food, and I don't say this about a lot of Caribbean food that I try, I'm not gonna lie, because a lot of Caribbean food that I try is extremely subpar to me. But that was good. Like, that was good. That was really good. 
the see the flavors oh my god and they had ran out of roti so didn't even get to try the roti but i'm sure the roti is bomb because we were talking to the ladies that were ahead of us and behind us they said that they get the food there regularly and oh my god and i was like oh my god oh my god i can't wait to try that roti i'm sure the oxtails are really good and yeah but so I'm tired of my camera doing that. My camera just randomly turns off and I will be in the middle of recording. I will have gone about anywhere from like one to like two, three minutes and then boom, it just shuts off. All that footage is now gone. Side eye. Um, yeah, so essentially what I was talking about, what I, was, I was talking about how I'm like really thinking hardcore about buying these Drake tickets. Because Drake and 21 Savage, I'm eating a salad. This is a very boring salad. I was like, hmm, I need to go see Drake. I said I was going to see Drake this summer, and I think it's going to happen. I was also saying how, like, the tickets for the section are just really, really expensive. And they're not even that great seats. Like, instead of them looking like little circles or, like, dots, they probably look like figurines like they're like this big you could probably get some detailing of like the face you could see 21's dreads like bopping around you could see Drake if he's probably gonna have them same cornrows you gonna see the, same, the two straight backs going back he's probably gonna have on some baggy jeans <laughs> it's me predicting um 